five things you didn't know about Waxin University in Hyderabad. Oh. Hi guys, what's up? Hope you guys are doing great. Welcome back to my channel. Guys, first of all, thank you so much for all the love that you've given to my previous videos of Waxin University. In case if you're new to my channel and you haven't watched those videos, I will be putting down the link in the description below of those videos. So make sure you go check them out as well. Just because I have been to Waxin University in Hyderabad many times, I thought of giving you guys some masala and gossips about Waxin University in Hyderabad. So here are the five things that I'm pretty sure you didn't know about Waxin University. So let's get started. Number one, their campus is open till 2 a.m. in the morning. Yes, guys, the first time I was on campus, I was shocked to see that their campus was open till 2 a.m. in the morning. In fact, I wondered when do the students really sleep because they have morning classes. But just because it's a fully residential campus, so majority of the amenities like the library and the cafeteria is open for the students till 11 p.m. And the areas around the hostel premises are open for the students till 2 a.m. in the morning. In fact, the vibe of the campus in the evenings is very, very different because you will see some students in the corner studying, some doing some group assignments, while the rest of them just having fun, bonding and laughing. To be very honest, I actually like the chill environment there because when I was in IIT Bombay for the cultural fest, even their campus was open throughout and you could see a lot of freedom given to students and you know, letting them explore themselves. Secondly, rules and regulations. Yes guys, Waxin University from the outside looks like a super chill and a fun university but to be very honest, from the inside, they have proper rules and regulations when it comes to attendance, assignments and accessible areas. And you know what happens when you break the rules, right? If yeah. you don't follow any, they're like huge fines you have to pay. Also, they bombard you with fine. It's about the fine, they're like too much fine. Then I'm... Number three, they have one of Asia's largest sports arena. Yes guys, Waxin University sports arena is literally heaven on earth for sports enthusiasts. I personally have not seen anybody who's seen something like it and not fallen in love with it. So far I've come across a lot of universities around the world and uh, this is the best. The whole sports arena is spread across 60 acres, indoor and outdoor. From sand volleyball to Zumba lounge, literally they have everything. And they don't go easy on these things. Each and everything is world standards. So if it is cricket, it has to be ICC. If it is tennis, it has to be ITF standards. Badminton court, squash courts, yoga lounge, life fitness lounge, you name it, they have it. Number four, student clubs and fest. Yes guys, Watson University goes really big on student clubs and fest. They have approximately 28 clubs from robotics and artificial intelligence club to leather design club. They host a lot of events on campus such as TEDx, fashion shows, HR conclaves, MUNs and a lot more that aligns with the sustainable development goals on a monthly basis. One thing that I personally found very fascinating was that each and everything around these fests and clubs was organized by the students themselves. So from inviting the guests to executing the event on ground, everything was done by the students. Number fifth, startup incubation. Back in the year 2014, Waxin University started out as a business school and was called Waxin School of Business. Ever since, they've added a lot more of courses and all of them are doing pretty well. But startup incubation and entrepreneurship has always been at the heart of what Waxin University does. You will be amazed to know that they have something called as a trade tower, which is the official incubation center of Waxin University. They basically provide international resources, office space and fund students for their business ideas and provide all the help that a startup would need. They basically stand as a pillar between the students and what the industry needs and groom the students and give them all the exposure that they need. So many startups in the field of mental health, sustainable fashion and tech have come out of Waxin University and the trade tower of Waxin University. So yes guys, that's about it for this particular video. Thank you so much for watching this video till the very end. In case if you are a current student of Waxin University, do comment below and let me know what are the other cool and unknown facts about Watson University. If you like this video, make sure you give me a thumbs up. Comment below if you have any doubts, question, queries. And please share this video and subscribe to my channel. I'll see you soon with another video. Take care guys. Bye-bye.